So how many keywords should you use on a page for SEO? Well, in a nutshell, I recommend using one primary keyword and enough secondary keywords that you would need to thoroughly explain the topic of your article. Now, in this video, I'll explain why and how. Let's get started. Okay, so why do I say you should target only one primary keyword on your page for SEO? Well, you should target only one primary keyword for various reasons. First reason is that your page needs to be on one topic only. The more specific and detailed you could go into that topic, the better. Because you don't want your page to be talking about various topics, which might confuse the reader and not really give all that much value. So your page should only be on one main topic. Now, the other reason is because your page can rank for many semantically related keywords and close variations. So just because your page is targeting one primary keyword, that doesn't mean that it'll only rank for that one keyword. Obviously, that page can rank for dozens upon hundreds of keywords. Google is smart enough to understand that people search for the same things using different words. So regardless of what words or words someone would type into Google, as long as your page is on that topic, it has the potential to rank high for it. So don't worry if you are targeting just one keyword because in reality, you are targeting dozens upon hundreds of other closer variant keywords. And lastly, you want to write for only one primary keyword because you want to avoid keyword stuffing. I've seen a lot of writers over the years do keyword research and find the top keywords with the most search volume, and they basically just copy and paste those search phrases in the body copy thinking that that's the best way to target a variety of keywords on a page. But when you read it, it just doesn't sound good and it doesn't really provide the value that a searcher is looking for. So if you target just one primary keyword, you don't need to be worrying about stuffing other types of keywords in your body copy. So one primary keyword and you can use many secondary keywords. Now, these secondary keywords could also be called keyword modifiers. Now, you can use these types of keywords to flesh out your main topic. Now, I like to use these secondary keywords in not only my body copy, but also use them in headings. So you can think of this as chapters in a book or lessons in a module. So the goal of secondary keywords is really to hone in on your main topic and discuss everything you need to discuss for your primary topic or keyword. Okay, so how do you find your primary keyword and your secondary keywords? Well, I always like to start with Google. We did some keyword research and we're thinking about writing an article about gardening for beginners. So I have the Keywords Everywhere extension installed and turned on, and it's showing us that this phrase, gardening for beginners, has an average monthly search volume of 5,400 a month. So this could be a good primary keyword to target. But at this point, I'm not 100% sure. So I want to take a look at the competitors that are ranking at the top. We can see this one by the old farmer's Almanac, Vegetable Gardening for Beginners. This one, growingintheGarden.com, Gardening for Beginners, How to Start a Garden in Eight Simple Steps. So what I want to do is take a look at the keywords that these pages are also ranking for aside from Gardening for Beginners. Now you can do that by hovering over this second row just below the page title and clicking on this number right here the total keywords that this URL ranks for. Right now it's ranking for 127 keywords. Now, if you click on this link, Keywords Everywhere will pull up this report that looks like this. So it found 127 keywords for this URL. We can see all of the keywords it ranks for, including the estimated traffic these keywords bring in for that URL, the keyword rankings, the average monthly search volume from the Google Keyword Planner, and also a few metrics from Google Ads. Now, the keyword that we were thinking about was gardening for beginners. And we can see here, the keyword is right here, gardening for beginners, and it has an estimated traffic of 360. I'm also seeing another keyword, gardening for newbies. This keyword actually brings in a little bit more traffic for this URL. 
So either of these could be a good primary keyword for you. For me, I would choose gardening for beginners uh, simply because it is in the URL itself and also it is in the title tag. So it looks like they are really targeting the phrase gardening for beginners. So gardening for beginners could be the primary keyword that you can target in your own article. Now, what about the secondary keywords? So I first like to take a look at the widgets on the right hand side. So we can see according to keywords everywhere, these are all of the keywords that people also search for. So I'm going to do a control find and just search for beginners to focus on more of the relevant ones. So we can see flower gardening for beginners, landscaping, planting flowers in pots, and so forth. So these could be viable secondary keywords or keyword modifiers that you can touch on in your body copy. Maybe you can create a heading around flower gardening for beginners, another one about landscaping, maybe a section about books. These all have some nice average monthly search volume as you can see. Now the second widget is the long tail keywords widget. Now this list of keywords can also give you some really nice secondary keywords or keyword modifiers that you can add to your body copy. So vegetable gardening, um, pots, container gardening, flower gardening, and so forth. So taking a look at these two widgets will give you some really nice options in terms of secondary keywords. But I also would like to take a look at what the ranking URLs also rank for. Okay, so let's go back to this report and let's analyze all of these keywords here and see if we can pull some type of keyword modifiers or close variants that we could use in our body copy and also more importantly in our headings. So we can see all of these keywords at the top bring in a good amount of traffic. They are very similar to one another, right? So how to begin gardening, how to start a garden, how do I start a garden? So these are not good secondary keywords because our primary keyword is gardening for beginners. So it basically covers most of these keywords at the top. So what I recommend is instead of using these exact phrases, pull the modifiers. So newbies, how to begin, start. There's a few more start modifiers as you can see here. So I would find a way to naturally add these modifiers in my body copy. Okay, so newbies, begin, start. Now let's scroll down to see what secondary keywords we can find. So we can see here, I'm seeing tips. So let's see if we have other keywords that have the word tips in them. Okay, so there are a total of 12 keywords that have the modifier of tips. So what you can do is possibly use this keyword, gardening tips for beginners, as it has good amount of average monthly search volume. And you can use these additional long tail phrases in that section all about gardening tips for beginners. Now let's take a look at some additional secondary keywords we can find. Now I'm seeing home, so let me search for home. Okay, so there are a total of 12 keywords that have the home modifier in them. So we can possibly use this one as a secondary keyword or this one as a secondary keyword and then naturally add these other keywords in that section as well. So a section all about home gardening for beginners. Now let's take a look at some other keywords we can find. Okay, so I see uh, starting a small garden, starting a backyard garden. So these can also be good secondary keywords. So you can create a heading about small gardens and talk about small, small gardens. You can create another heading about starting a backyard garden and talk about backyard gardens. So let me do a quick search for backyard. Okay, so there are six keywords that this URL ranks for that includes the modifier of backyard. So you can create a heading like backyard gardening for beginners and naturally add variations of these long tail keywords in that section as well. So this is the process that I would follow to find some secondary keywords. So really it's all about covering your primary topic in a very thorough way. Okay, so the most important thing is just choosing one primary keyword and you have a lot of flexibility in terms of what types of secondary keywords you want to target in your body copy. So definitely take a look at the keywords that your competitor URLs are ranking for because this really gives you the answers in terms of what secondary keywords to add. And if you want to go a little bit further, 
you can take a look at the widgets on the right hand side to find some additional ideas in terms of what secondary keywords or keyword modifiers you can add to your body copy in your headings in your article about your main topic of you know gardening for beginners okay so hopefully you have a better understanding of how many keywords you should use on a page for seo so hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did smash that like button subscribe to our channel and if you want to check out our other videos you are free to click any of the ones on the screen thanks so much and i'll see you in the next one